Hey guys, I'm starting a new video series today called Your Top 10 Diet Disasters. And I'm gonna go over what I believe to be the top 10 diet disasters that are throwing people out of whack. That are the reasons people uh, make so many mistakes and can't make progress on their, on their diets, on their eating patterns, on their nutritional programs. And these are things that I see every day. These are things that I see with with, uh, with all the people I've worked with and even people I haven't worked with that I've talked to. And I'm going to give you a great example of someone I talked to earlier this week in a minute. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we're going over. And today I'm going to go over uh, the number one step. And every week I'll do another step. So today the number one step, the number one diet disaster is trying to figure out your diet on your own. Just trying to wing it on your own. And that is, that is what I found to be the number one diet disaster. You know, if my transmission breaks on my car, I would never, ever attempt to fix it on my own. You know, if, if, if my air conditioning breaks, I would never attempt to fix it. Um, but there's people that, that think they can fix their diet, that have no success, that have had no success their whole life in the fat loss battle. Yet for some reason, they have this false bravado that they can fix their diet, that they can build and craft and, and, and maneuver their own diet effectively. Then you have some people that might have had success in the past, that might have lost some weight, you know, and they've hit a plateau and they just can't burn off that last, you know, four or five pounds of stubborn, pesky fat. But by, but by gosh, golly darn it, they're going to just keep pushing away. By God and gosh darn it, they're just going to keep trying on their own. Well, that's a very foolish thing to do. That's what a fool does. You know, in high school, you don't, you don't re report freshman year and they don't give you a big stack of books and say, see ya, see you in four years. Well, no, you have a teacher. And a lot of kids even have tutors. Okay? <laughs> you know, so whatever challenge or obstacle or, or assignment you have in life, you always want to have a guide a leader, a coach, or whatever you want to call it. You want to have a map. You want to have a game plan, okay? And without a map or a game plan at your disposal in the fat loss battle, you're done. You're as good as done. And not just any map, but a highly effective map that's customized exactly where you want to go. You know, when you follow a map, uh, you're gonna, you will eventually reach some destination but will it be the destination that you want to reach? Okay, so that's what we're dealing with here today. And let's talk more about that for a minute. You know, um, people, people, uh, we want to figure out today. So the biggest question we want to ask is we've identified the problem. The disaster we've identified is people, uh, people try to build their own customized fat loss diet on their own. Now, why do people do that? Why do people think they have the ability to do that? Where does this false bravado come from? Where does this arrogance come from that people would ever think they could do that? Well, we're going to touch on that in, in a minute here, but I want to tell you a quick story that happened actually, I think it was actually Monday at the gym. And this woman approached me who I kind of sort of know, and she just approaches me unsolicited and says, Oh my gosh, this past weekend I, uh, I, I know I gained weight and I just ate, ate so much food I shouldn't have and you know, I, I, I know what to do, I just have to do it. And that's all she said and then she kind of paused and waited for me to respond and I, I just listened the whole time. And I'll never forget the last sentence she said and I'll repeat it again, I know what to do, I just need to do it. And the minute I heard that, I knew I had her right where I wanted her. And I've heard that from so many women, that phrase, I know what I need to do. I know what to do. I just need to do it. And nothing could be further from the truth. So I said to her, I said, well, what exactly is it you need to do? Oh, I, 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 just, I, I just need to stick to my diet. Well, you just told me that you're unable to follow your diet because every week you have compelling cravings 
which lead to you eating, I didn't use the word binges, but I said, that lead to you going off your program and eating too much junk, eating food you shouldn't eat. I, I, I know, I, I know, but I, I know what I need to do. We've established the fact that you need to follow a diet, a program, but your current diet is not satisfying and is not dealing with this reoccurring, compelling urge to overeat. What course of action will you take? You said you know what you need to do, so share with me now what course of action. Will you eat more carbs? Will you eat less carbs? Will you switch your protein sources around? Will you uh, eat, eat this fat instead of that fat source? What, what will you do? Uh, I intentionally gave her some options to, so she could, you know, throw me a bone here. And, oh, I, I just, I, you know, you know I, I just need to, you know, I, I, I duh. And she said, I duh. And that's all she said. Then she immediately backpedaled. She was about to say, I don't know. She couldn't do it. She couldn't do it. And she ended up backpedaling. I, I don't, but I, I just, you know, I've got to do this. And then she just, I think, it, you know, wrapped up the conversation like that and then ran off like a scolded cat. But that's a great example. I, she literally, on the tip of her tongue, was about to say, I don't, don't know. She didn't have to say that. That's, I knew that's what she was about to say. And so that's just one great example. Where does this arrogance come from? What would ever possess someone to think they could ever build their own specific, customized, effective, healthy fat loss program, plan of attack? Where does it come from? Where does this false bravado come from? I'll tell you where. It comes from two places. Number one, okay? Number one, everywhere you look, Dr. Oz, the magazines at the checkout counter, fitness websites, fitness blogs, The Biggest Loser, they're all telling you tips to burn fat. Top six fat loss recipes. Uh, top eight tips to look hot in your bikini for the summer. Top three uh, foods to slim down and trim down the hips and thighs. And the list goes on and on. You know what I'm talking about. And people read it everywhere. I mean, I mean, you've got, uh, like the Dr. Oz show, it's a national televised show on a national platform on a pedestal and people see that and they think whatever is said on that show any diet tips or recipes are gospel yet 85 percent of his audience is obese women and a few men you know then you have the fitness magazines well the girl in the front looks perfect and inside you know says to do xyz so i've got to do so you have all this information I'm, out there in the media and even on websites and whatnot that is you know some are higher rated or ranked or, or on a larger platform than others so that will oftentimes validate the legitimacy of the outlets and even then you've still got uh, smaller websites uh, little blurbs on the news, they're everywhere. You know what I'm talking about. So people hear that, they see it, they absorb it, and they think, oh, it's easy, I can do it. Everybody's giving out tips or fat loss, I can fucking figure it out on my own. What they don't realize is that, well, they will realize this eventually, but what they should realize is that if you go into local gyms and go into local fitness clubs, you see people in there every day that think they're eating healthy, that can't burn fat that think they're doing the right exercises and eating the right foods, yet they, they still can't lose the chubby belly or they still can't get under 26% body fat or wherever they're at. So if there's so much information out there, there's no shortage of fat loss diet information. Yet for some reason, people can't burn the fat they wanna burn. You know, go into any gym in the, in the world almost and, and ask people, and if you polled, if you asked every single member, or not even, just, just person in the gym, would you like to burn some fat, even if it's just a few pounds? I guarantee you not a soul in there would say, no, I don't want to burn any fat, I definitely don't. Maybe one-tenth of a percent. But 99.99% but of everybody would say, sure, I'll, I'll lose a couple pounds of fat. You know, sure, I'll take that. My point is, is that everybody out there wants to burn fat, but they don't know how to. So. 
That's reason number one. Okay, and I'll, I'll repeat it one more time just to drill it in. Reason number one is that there's so much information out there in the media on fat loss tips and advice through diet that people think they can figure it out, okay, on their own, which they can't. Number two, the second biggest reason that leads to this arrogance and false bravado that you could ever, ever build your own diet program is, quite simply, you've been eating your whole life. You eat every day, I eat every day, we eat every day. Many times a day, several times a day. You have to eat to live, you have to eat to survive. Eating's a part of life, it's like breathing. You have to do it to survive. And you can go to the grocery store and buy food without it. You don't need a, you don't need a prescription to buy food at the grocery store or at the fast food joint or at the soup kitchen. You don't need a prescription. You don't need a pass, you know, a signed note or pass from mom or dad. You don't have to be 21 or 18 years old to eat food or to buy food. Anybody can do it. Well, yeah, no, well, duh, no kidding. What's your point? My point is that because it's, eating is so commonplace and ingrained and connected and intertwined with your life, whatever age you are, you know, since you were a little baby, you've been eating your whole life every day, that people think it's such an ingrained part of their life, they can figure it out on their own. Nothing could be further from the truth. Nothing. Okay? That's not true. Okay? You, you are not and will never be emotionally equipped or intellectually equipped. You will never have an emotional aptitude or the intellectual aptitude to build and construct your own healthy, effective uh, diet program, customized diet program for yourself. You'll never be successful at that. You'll never do that. You'll never hit that jackpot. You know, if you have the strongest, uh, most bulletproof, fireproof, atomic bombproof, galvanized, cast iron, rock solid safe in the world, okay? I don't care if you're a six year old kid or a 96 year old kid, or, or old person, you would be a kid if you're 96. I don't care if you're male, you're female, you're tall, you're short, you're fat, you're thin. I don't care whatever. As long as you have the right combination, you will open that safe. You can open it. As soon as somebody, I don't care if it's a little bitty kid, you give them the right combination, they punch it in, that super strong safe will open up. The door will slide right open. Okay? It's the same thing with your diet and with fat loss. Once you have the right fat loss combination, once you have the right combination, that fat will melt off. But at the same token, if someone, if, if, if you sat in a room with that safe for the next billion years and you had to just guess at and figure out that combination, that safe, you'll never do it. In a billion years, you'll never just figure out that combination. I mean, how many times you turn the little knob or, or plug in the numbers or whatever it is, you'll never figure out how to open that safe. You'll never guess it. You'll never get it right. There's so many zillions of combinations. Okay, the same thing is true with your diet program, with your eating program. You're never going to figure it out on your own. You know, in a zillion years, you'll never just get it right by mistake. Okay, you might find a few things that might work for a little while, but you'll never crack the code on your own. It's impossible. It's one in a trillion chances. Yet people think they can do that. People have a false bravado and an arrogance about themselves where they think they can, they actually believe they can do it. And I've explained why. So uh, let me wrap up by saying one thing. I promise you this. Unless you have the combination to your eating pattern, to your diet program, until, until you have the combination, until the combination to your diet program is given to you, you will never taste success. I guarantee it. 
click on my Facebook link below and follow me as I polarize the entire diet and fitness industry. Wetwolftraining.com. Signing out.